Hi everybody. I wanted to send out a quick message and a video to go with, or a response actually, to an email we got from the district late Friday afternoon. The technology department, in their attempt to try to change the security settings, went through and put passcode protection on everybody's Zoom meetings, and then got rid of that passcode protection, realized there was a different way to do it, and in response, they're asking us to go ahead and delete the sessions we had, which they've changed, and create new links so our students will have the correct links. However, I don't think you have to go through all of that. And let me show you why. Let me open this first period Zoom meeting. So I didn't use any passcodes when I initially set this up. You'll see there is a passcode now. I didn't use a passcode because students were authenticating through Clever. They didn't need another layer of security. However, the district decided to change that, and now they've changed it back. You'll see that they've changed the default to no passcodes. So what they're saying is delete this, do it again. Well, here's the thing. Here's my original link all the way through the number one here. The question mark and the rest of this is all the passcode that they added. Instead of deleting this entire link, I'm going to go down and I'm going to edit the meeting. And when I edit the meeting and remove that passcode, you will notice that when I save it, I'm back to the original portion of that link ending in 21. I tested this by getting a hold of a student. I changed it back. I had them log in. It worked the way it always did without me changing it actually in my Clever account. So I'm not going to guarantee you 100% that this is going to work. I'm comfortable enough with it working that I don't plan on changing anything. And I think I'll be fine Monday morning at 8 o'clock when my first period class arrives. So I just wanted to toss that out to you as a workaround to changing everything. Because if you're like our school at Redwood, we actually created a school-wide document with all of our links. We would have to change every one of those as well if we delete and recreate. So there you go. Use it uh, to whatever your comfort level is with that. So some of you will have already set passcodes because you wanted that level of security. I personally don't see the need for it. Students are already authenticating through Clever. But if you set passcodes and you want to make sure they have the correct passcodes after the districts work with this, then you'll want to go in and you'll want to check to see what passcode is currently there. If that's the passcode you gave students before, then this full link should still be the one that you posted, and that should be the passcode you gave, and you should be good to go. If that's not the passcode you gave before, if the district's actions overrode your passcode, then you want to go down and you want to edit, and you want to go back to that passcode box and put the passcode in that you used. So maybe you were making a statement about terrible movies and you gave the passcode cats percent zero zero. That would have been its Rotten Tomatoes score. So you do that, you go down and save. And now when you show the passcode, you're all set. So I can't guarantee you 100% that this is going to work. I haven't tried it with a massive group of students. I tried it with a student. It worked just fine. It makes sense that it's going to reset things to the way they were before the district's most recent work at trying to refine Zoom security. But again, if your comfort level is such that it's, it's easier for you to recreate your links, go for that. I know for me, this is how I'm going to start my Monday. Okay, I hope that helps. And I hope you have a great weekend.